It is going down. I'm here with my man, Berto Allen, BTC Trojan Spirit Day. Hey, talk a little bit about this event and how are you doing, good sir? Hey, I'm doing great. Yeah, how you, how you feeling today, man? Wonderful. Well, uh, actually, my, my best friend, uh, Michael Calloway, owns this uh, mm -hmm. establishment. Um, he also coaches with us. Yep. We thought it would be a good idea to raise funds for our organization so that our kids that uh, they don't have the, 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 the backing to raise some funds for their mm -hmm. uniforms, their shoes, and, and so forth. Uh, it's a great event. Good people out here. You know, it's great food. Uh, I can't get enough of the food. Uh, I love Mike, but I love his food a little much more. <laughs> you know what I mean? so, thanks for coming out, man. Yeah, most definitely so. So talk about the Trojans. Uh, talk about some of the other things that you're doing in the community. Obviously, um, what's your guys' record this season? We haven't played a game yet. Okay, you haven't started uh, yet. Right now started. we're in the lab just practicing and getting, okay. our, getting, our, getting our teams together. I found the Breaking the Chains uh, basketball program last last year. Okay. Uh, over the last seven years, I've had the opportunity to play for different organizations. Mm -hmm. And my friends and I sat down and met and said, brother, it's time to do your own thing. So I found the, the Trojans based upon me wanting to make a difference in my city instead of being sponsored by others outside of our city. Got it. Uh, last year we had six teams. Uh, we've grown to 11 teams this year. Wow. Uh, last year's 8th grade, 7th grade, 6th grade, and 5th grade teams did really well. AAU-wise made a name for ourselves. Our 8th grade team from the second in the state. Our 7th grade team was on one, one of the best teams in the state of Ohio and did really well in the Virginia Nationals where we finished fourth. Our uh, 6th grade team did really well in Orlando. Uh, and this year we're looking to bounce back, man. We have we have great coaches, great people. Uh, we had a seminar two months ago. Okay. Uh, I tell all kids that play for our organization that we're, we're more than just basketball. Right. Each of our kids have to provide the community with service. They have to be a part of our classes where we teach leadership development, financial literacy, uh, smart decisions, making what's healthy habits, time management, things of that nature. So. Uh, just looking, looking to move forward and, 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 and keep on pushing. This year, I plan on having some forms, some mm -hmm. team forms. You know, I had a couple marches uh, last year. Right. Uh, to, to raise the ones about violence, but it's time to take the next step. Yeah. Uh, quite honestly, I was asked last night while I was out, brother, when is your next walk? I said, I'm done walking it's not making a difference. Yeah. We raised awareness, now let's make a difference. So uh, I'm going to approach a few individuals that have a good heart and, and look to make a difference, difference, difference in the city, I'm sorry. So we're going to get back in the lab and make some things happen in 2013. Well, Stephanie, so, oh my gosh, that's a mouthful, Berto. Mouthful, man, a lot going on. <laughs> Um, so, so I have to be candid with you. I did not know that you were that deeply involved, and I knew obviously about the coaching and about the basketball and about some of the community things that you were doing, some of the community developments that you're doing as it relates to the children. But oh my gosh, uh, you, you talked about some things uh, that are very, very pressing community issues as it relates to some of our communities in and around the tri-state Cincinnati area. Right. So, uh, and, and this is going to be a little bit personal. So, so what was your personal motivation and driving passion to get all of this going? Uh, first off, I'm, I'm, I'm a city boy. Okay. I was born and raised downtown, you know, on Ray Street. Uh, quite, quite honestly, uh, I was at home in 2011 watching the news and another team, of, I said, that's enough, man. So I contacted John Zipperberg, uh and Don Lee, and Don Lee, Officer Don Lee. I said, let's have, a, let's have a march. That was my first march. That was my idea. And then we had another one in Avondale, so I just I had to select downtown in Avondale because those are two most uh, neighborhoods that you hear about. Yeah. So uh, got in the lab, you know, met with Pastor Tate, uh, the Avondale Council, and we made that happen. Um, you know, I, I'm very passionate about our youth. I'm very passionate about change. Uh, I've had the opportunity to speak at different middle schools throughout the city. Uh, I have parents that call me about their children. Women I've never met in my life, you know, but in 2012 I began to be kind of quiet and proud because it was becoming too political. I never got into this to be political. You know, I had certain parties calling my phone, asking me to run for council last year. I didn't want to do that. Um, I had individuals asking to pay me to be a part of my events. I didn't want to do that. I'm not in it for the money. I'm not in it for the for the for the attention. I'm in it for the love. So I have to take a, 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 a back step, step back, so that I can, you know, get away from the politics. Yeah. But in 2013, I'm going to roll with the punches and make things happen. Wow.
So not only is that very impressful, impressive, but also very purposeful. Uh, I'm very excited just to have an opportunity to kind of showcase and broadcast some of the things that you guys are doing here in the community. Uh, now, are you um, uh, are your operations centralized here on the west side of town? No, we're, okay. we're, we're citywide. It just that happen, it just happens that my best friend owns this right. this establishment, and it made sense to me to, to come out here. You know, uh, so. We'll be out here supporting him as he supports us. Awesome. So now does uh, Chick-fil-A, is, is there a percentage of the proceeds from the meals go to uh, yes. BTC? Okay. Yes, 15%. Okay, awesome, awesome. Well, I'm going to make sure I get some Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A, of right. course, the, in my opinion, the best chicken in the land. Man, I'm addicted, man. I can't have enough of it. You know? I get some of those nuggets, boy, I'll be, be like one, one of the clampets eating the chicken nuggets. Right, right. Hey, Mike, get some nuggets, man. Where's Mike at? Mike. Mike is enjoying some, some food himself. Hey, Mr. Callaway, come here, please, sir. This, this is my man, Mike, right here. This is the man in the hour. You know, he's so humble. This is a interview. Tell him to bring his food with him. Bring your food with you, brother. <laughs> Mike being all, hey, Mr. Callaway, he, he's not shy. He's not shy. He is not shy. No, you, you gotta get an interview. This is being broadcasted live. Here he is. We got Mr. Michael Callaway to get up from his chicken. Yes, he did. Yes, How are you did. doing, good sir? I'm doing well, man. How are you? <laughs> so we're here in your Chick fil A. Yes, we are. And you got a mouthful of chicken. I do. It's good. <laughs> I must consume my own product. Yes, yes, most definitely. So, yeah. Yeah, quality yeah. control. Have to get high on your own supply. Yes, definitely. <laughs> definitely, definitely. I do it on a daily basis here, sometimes twice a day. <laughs> Definitely so. Well, of course, you know, we have a little bit of history. We go back to the African American Chamber of Commerce and yeah, some of the work that I've done there. But uh, this, ironically, is a broadcast uh, for on our uh, SBN, Sovereign Broadcast Network, Ustream. So we are out here once again talking with Mr. Berto Allen. Uh, he invited us out to BTC Trojans, Breaking the Chains, Trojan Spirit Day. And it just so happened uh, that we're out here at your Chick-fil-A. So Definitely. tell us a little bit about some of your interaction, because obviously this is a very purposeful community development effort. Mm -hmm. Uh, that, that you obviously are spearheading along with Berto. Yeah, well, well Berto and I go way back, and uh, we both uh, grew up in the inner city, and I think the key to our success was always um, adults finding a way to give back and contribute to our development, and so I don't, I don't think it's, um, you know, just happenstance that he and I are both trying to do the same now. And one of the things I think we agree on is that we do not ever want a young person to miss out on a great opportunity because of financial means, and so, whatever I can do as a business owner and entrepreneur to, uh, to partner with Berto to make sure that we're financing the movement. Um, you know, we can talk and talk all day, but until we put money behind these young people and their dreams and their ambitions, then we can't really see them take off. And so uh, we want to even the playing field. And if we want that to happen, it won't always be government that has to pitch in. It would be some personal and some business sacrifice that's necessary to contribute to the financial, you know, steadiness of these kids so they can focus on what they should be focused on at this age, which is achieving their dreams, uh, developing their goals, and identifying their purpose. And so um, we're doing what we can do to make sure that we create that foundation and from there they can take off. Wow. So you, you mentioned something, and, and it, it's, it's so ironic, great minds think alike, of course, something that Berto had mentioned in terms of his involvement and taking the next step as it relates to taking action. So the activity is very important. And certainly as a, a young entrepreneur here in the Cincinnati Tri-State area, like you said, backing it up with economic empowerment. So community exactly. empowerment is nothing without economic empowerment. Exactly. So of course we can talk an awful lot and we can walk and we can do things that you know galvanize people from a, uh, an emotional perspective. But if we don't do something to stimulate some economic growth, uh, then once again, nothing happens. So I applaud you for being a young entrepreneur, uh, obviously a young minority entrepreneur, and doing some things to give back. Uh, certainly being a city boy, I'm a city boy here as well. I grew up in the Avondale area, so it's always near and dear to my heart to see other young brothers, young professionals, doing things that are very purposeful and meaningful to grow our communities. Definitely. So I appreciate you guys. Oh, no, I appreciate what you're doing. Uh, this this is our home, you know, and. You know, a lot of people, we, I talk about uh, the talent that leaves the city mm -hmm. and complains about the city, mm -hmm. but it's just like your family. You can only get so far from family until you have to decide, it's my family. If it's going to be better, we're going to make it better. So that's how I feel about Cincinnati. Uh, this is my city. This is my home. And uh, when we come back, we're going to come back and make it better. 
uh, be part of the solution and not complain about the problem. So. Absolutely so. Right. Mr. Callaway, I appreciate you. Right. Thank you very spicy, much. I got a spicy deluxe with American cheese <laughs> over there waiting on me. We're going to let you go. And a cream milkshake on the, out the door. Right. Uh, <laughs> we're taking the kids to the UC UConn game tonight and have a little fun. So awesome. Appreciate y'all coming out to support. Yes, UTC. bro. Thank Definitely. you, good sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well said. <laughs> well said. I think it's time for me to go get some chicken too, Birdo. Hey man, hey, fill your belly up, man. I'm gonna get back to my meal over here as well. All right, and I'm gonna get some footage. Uh, like I said, you guys have a packed house here. Uh, we've got a lot of young folks here, so once again, I really thank and applaud you guys for the things man, that you guys are doing here in the you, community. Bro. Thank you, thank you, man. Really appreciate it. All right, thanks, Birdo. I'll let you get back to your chicken. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, man. Hold on, get a shot of this. Oh, yeah, most definitely. I'm, I'm, so. I'm a man, my man BTC with the black and gold on, baby. Oh okay, yeah, we gotta get the BTC there. Get the BTC, man. That's Coach K. Coach K, how are you doing this evening? I'm doing pretty good. Now, you don't have any chicken in your mouth, so I think you might, we might ask you a couple good questions. So you're the coach of the teams? Uh, yes, I coach uh, sixth grade. Okay, okay. awesome, <laughs> awesome. Yeah, Bruno was telling me a little bit about you all structure, so we are excited, coach, obviously, uh, for the work that you guys are doing here yes, in the community. Sir. So how can folks connect uh, with BTC Breaking the Change Trojans? Uh, if they want to, if they have children who want to play, uh, and or if they want to support the movement. Um, oh, we actually have a website, b 2 so they can get access to see our teams, to see what we offer, um, and then also uh, emails. <coughs> Excuse me, there's also emails on there um, for the coaches and things like that, and then also like, being able to contact uh, Coach Burley and kind of. He's kind of a middleman trying to follow out all the information on the coaches and stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to have some Awesome, awesome. So what do you expect this season in terms of uh, you guys win output? Uh, I expect to be one of the top teams in the state at minimum. That's, that's my goal is to be one of the top teams in the state. And then we'll go on to nationals. Our nationals this year is in uh, Virginia, Virginia Beach. And I'm hoping to go to uh, Virginia and have a good time. Awesome, awesome. Who's your star player? Are they here tonight? Uh, no, actually I have a couple good kids. My son actually plays on the team. I have two boys on the team. Um, they're uh, both in the sixth grade. One's a point guard, the other one's a uh, small forward. Um, they, they're definitely my, two of my better players on my team. Awesome. Well, much success on the season this year. Uh, certainly, I know you guys will do well. We're going to get a little bit more footage, and then I'm going to fill my face and my belly with some chicken. All right. Thanks, Coach K. I appreciate it. Thank you. Excuse me. 